Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I wanted to introduce to you guys a new project pan that I'm doing, and it's called the Seven Deadly Pans. Right? Like the Seven Deadly Sins, only it's the Seven Deadly Pans. Anyways, this is not my original idea. I actually joined a Facebook group called The Fantastic Ladies. Um, I will leave that link down below if you guys are looking to join. And somebody suggested doing the Seven Deadly Sins, but do like pans. So like do a product for each of the sin, right? I thought it was a really cute idea and I loved it. And I did like a whole report when I was in high school on the Seven Deadly Sins and like what they represent and what they mean to different people in different like lifestyles and stuff it was really really a cool project so i only have seven products in this um, project pan. This project pan was technically supposed to be from December 7th, 2017 through July 7th of 2018. But since I got a late start because life has been crazy and hectic lately, I am making this from January 7th, 2017 and still ending in July 7th. 2018. So I'm really, really excited to show you guys the products that I picked out and I'm actually wearing some of them today so you guys can kind of get a little sneak peek. And I can't remember who it was, but I was watching a project panner and she actually uses a food scale and weighs her products. So I figured I would do that because some of these I can't really tell if I'm making progress or not. So I have my trusty bamboo food scale here. It's super easy to use. Oh, I turned it on actually. Um, but it's super easy to use. I actually got it from Target for like $28 and it just looks clean and nice and fresh. And I actually use it for my food too, but um, I figured I would use it to weigh my products so that you guys could see how much progress I'm actually making versus what it like just looks like, if that makes sense. Let's get started. So to start off, the seven deadly sins are lust, envy, vanity, or pride. You can use either one. Um, wrath, sloth, gluttony, and greed. I picked out a product to use for each one. If I'm looking down, that's because I'm looking at my notes. You guys know that. But let's get started. So the first one I chose was from Lust. So to me, Lust is like sex, <laughs> right? Like, like feeling sexy and just feeling good and, you know, lusting on someone and whatever. Anyways, to me, I actually picked two products to go in this category. So I picked a shave cream. <laughs> I know, right? Whatever but is the Pure Silk Rich and Lustrous Shave Cream in Kiwi Berry Bliss. So basically, I've had this in my shower for like a year and it's kind of getting gross and it's full. Like it's literally completely full. I never use shave cream. I always just use my body wash. So I want to use this up so it doesn't go bad and it, you know, I purchased it and it was probably like two or three bucks when I purchased it. So I want to use it up. And having shaved legs and like armpits and stuff makes me feel more sexy because then my skin's nice and soft, right? Anyways, and I also chose a lotion and this is the Burt's Bees Fragrance-Free Body Lotion with Shea Butter and Vitamin E for all skin types. This is, I will mark it, but it's about here on the bottle, but I did weigh these products together as one because I'm using this as one. So basically I plan to use the shave cream and then lotion all over to make my skin feel really soft and sexy and touchable for lust. I'm really excited about it. I thought it was a cute idea. But anyways, so the two products together are 510 grams. So I put everything in grams just because some of the things were so light that doing them in pounds just doesn't make sense. So I did everything in grams just to keep it kind of consistent throughout. But they are the two products together, including the packaging. So this is exactly how I weighed them together like this. And it was 510 grams. So hopefully I'll have less than that on my next check-in. I plan on doing a check-in every single month. So be ready for that. But I'm gonna do a check-in on every seventh of the month. That's the plan. Let's see if I can do it. 
The next deadly sin is Envy, and I chose a nail polish for this one. So I chose the Butter London Nail Polish in the shade Yummy Mummy. It's actually what I have on my nails right now. It is a little janky looking because I've had it on for a couple days. And me and my son were opening up a bunch of boxes from his Christmas presents because we were playing games. So yeah, they were still kind of wet when I did that. Anyways. But I chose this for Envy because this is the nail polish that envies other nail polishes. Like, it's so like boring and plain and just like meh that it just, <laughs> that it envies all the other colorful, pretty, vibrant, um, shiny, matte nail polishes because this is just like a tan nail polish. And it's also something that I've had for a really long time and I want to get out of my collection. So that is why I chose this one for Envy. And this one weighs 60 grams, six zero grams. So hopefully it'll weigh less than that the next time I check in. But I plan on painting my nails at least a couple times a month with this. So hopefully I can get some good use out of it. Then the next one is Pride or Vanity and I chose something that makes me feel beautiful and that is my <laughs> little sample of the Balm Voyage or Voyage I like to say in Karikabaka. I God, I can never remember how to say this. I looked it up at one point and I don't remember now. It's Kuwakarabishka. Yeah, that's my best. That's my best job there. I do have it on as my highlight today, and I'll give you a swatch of it as well. It is so stunning. Like, I love this highlight. I wish it came in a full size on its own. Like, I like this more than the Mary Luminizer, just because the Mary Luminizer is more of a like champagne color. This is more of a yellow gold. And for some reason on my skin, I just feel like it looks really, really flattering on my skin. Yeah, I just have this little sample. I do have a full-size palette that has this in there, which is why I want to use up the sample. See what, I'm, see what I'm doing there? And this little sample weighs 9 grams. So I did weigh it in the whole packaging. I did not depot it. So I plan on continuing to weigh it in the packaging because I don't plan on depotting this at all. So 9 grams for this and I... Hopefully, using it as an eyeshadow and a highlighter, I want to use this completely up. Wrath is next, and Wrath, to me, like, emits, like, anger and fire and, you know? <laughs> That's, like, what I think of when I think of Wrath. I just think of, <laughs> oh my god. I hope you guys are not laughing at me right now, but you probably are. Anyways, so, for Wrath... <laughs> I thought of like spiky and like flames and fire and pokes and I don't know. So I thought of a liquid eyeliner because <laughs> whenever I use a liquid eyeliner, I always do a cat eye or like a flame eye, right? Because it's like a flame. I don't know. This is just my mind going one day. I was having fun with it. But this is the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I thought I had used this up and then I let it sit like this upside down and I put it between my legs so it would like warm it up. And I just dropped the lid. Where did it go? That's another thing about this. The lid does not stay on and I have so many issues with the lid falling off of here and driving me crazy which is why I want to use this up. So my plan is, is if I end up using up this liquid eyeliner, I want to put another liquid eyeliner in its place. So right now, this liquid eyeliner with all the packaging weighs nine grams. So I'm hoping to use it up and I plan to use it up until it dries out. So if I end up using up this liquid eyeliner completely, I plan on putting another one in its place to finish out this project. So hopefully I can get two of them done with the conclusion of this, but we'll see how I do. Then the next one I have is Sloth. So Sloth to me just means like slow, lazy, um, just relaxed more than anything. Almost like enjoyable because you get to 
slow it down and just enjoy around you, enjoy your surroundings and enjoy what you have. So the product that I chose for Sloth is this Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Stick. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I love this product. It is the lipstick that I have on today. Here is how much I have in here. This is just a little sample size. This is not the full size of the item. But there is the sample size that I have left. I use this often. But I chose it for sloth because it's kind of like my lazy lipstick. That's what I call it. I call it my lazy lipstick because it gives me nice color and really good coverage on my lips. But I can put it on without a mirror. I can put it on at work. I can put it on and not feel like it's smudging all over. It looks good every time I wear it. It's my lazy lipstick. So I can wear it and have lipstick essentially on my lips without having the hassle of the bleeding of the lipstick and having to put a lip liner on and all that crazy stuff. I love this and this is my lazy lipstick so that's why I chose this for sloth. This product has 14 grams in here. This includes the lid. So I did weigh it just like this upright on the scale and it was 14 grams. My next product is in the category of gluttony. Gluttony to me is just indulging in too much. So I know a lot of people just 100% think gluttony is just eating. And for a lot of people it is. I mean for me, I'm a glutton sometimes. Like I love sweets, I love you know comfort foods, I love dinners, I love breakfast. But to me personally, gluttony just means the overindulgence, the over consumerism, the taking in too much and not giving back enough. So I chose a palette for this one. I don't know. Maybe it was dumb decision to, to choose a palette. Anyways, so for Gluttony, I chose a full eyeshadow palette. And I know that might seem a bit much, but that is overindulgence. That's choosing more than I know I can handle. So I chose a palette for two reasons. So for the first reason, I chose the palette because it's an overindulgence, it's too much product. But the second reason, is I chose the Real Her eyeshadow palette in Do Your Squats. <laughs> so I thought this was so funny, the fact that it's called Do Your Squats because when you overindulge and you overeat, you gotta go work out too. So <laughs> I just, I, don't, I had so much fun choosing these. So this is what the palette looks like. It's very, very neutral. It is the base color I have on my eyes today. Um, I used a different palette on top, but that's how I feel like I'm gonna be able to use this palette. I'm gonna be able to get a lot of neutral, just plain looks out of it, but I'm also gonna be able to get a lot of those like base color looks and then kind of build on top of it. So I'm gonna give you a few swatches here. That's like one of the shimmer colors. This is the color that I have in my crease. It's like a brown cranberry color. So these are the three colors that I swatched. And honestly, I don't think these colors are gonna be hard to use. I don't think I'm gonna hit pan on all these colors. I don't think there's any way. But I'm gonna really try my best to hit pan on two shades. So that's gonna be my goal. Two shades to hit pan on in here. And if I work really hard, I think I can do it. But we'll see how this goes. I might have to change my mind on that, but I'm gonna use this. So basically my plan is to just use this, use up some product. And right now, in this palette with the packaging, just like this, weighted on the scale, this is 130 grams. We'll see. I'm gonna try my best, but I'm not guaranteeing anything. I just wanna use it because it's been in my collection for a little while and I haven't really been able to form a full opinion on it. And that's my goal is to form some better opinions on some of these products. The very last category I have is greed. And with greed, I think of money, I think of green, I think of like that green monster inside you that says, I need this palette and this palette and this palette and this palette and this makeup product and this and this and this. And I just see like the same thing, like consumerism, just like greed of having and wanting everything. 
and I'm realizing more and more that I don't want everything. I don't need everything and nor can I use everything. So I wanted to do something that I know I could use up because I don't want to be greedy and I don't want to try to use something that I know is never going to be used up, if that makes sense. So I have a ton of primers in my collection and I want to use up this green e.l.f. tone adjusting face primer. So this one is supposed to correct redness, which you guys know I do have a little bit of redness, but this is more of a, just like, like a mineral face primer. It really sinks into my skin. I don't feel like it really corrects my redness at all. It is the primer I have on today. I don't really feel like it corrects redness very much to be totally honest, but yeah, I am really enjoying this right now and I've only used it like twice since I decided to put it in this project. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try to use it and I think I'll be able to use it up. I was able to use up the other e.l.f. primer from my project pan last year pretty quickly once I decided to only use that one. So I'm going to plan on only using this one and same as the liquid eyeliner. If I use this completely up, I'm just going to grab a different face primer to put in this project because I really want to get some of these face primers out of my collection. I weighed it with the packaging and it has 68 grams. So I'm not sure how much the packaging weighs. I'm assuming it's probably pretty heavy. But yeah, I'm going to use it all up until I can't use it anymore. And then I'm going to open it up and finish it out. And yeah, I think I'm going to be able to get this done in the six months that I'm giving myself for this project. Those were all of my products that I chose for the seven deadly sins or seven deadly pans. And like I said, I will link below a playlist of people that are doing this. And also you can just search seven deadly pans either in Instagram or here on YouTube. And I'm sure you can find other ladies or gentlemen that are doing this project as well. And I will also link the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group down below. If you guys want to join that, you just have to request to join. But this has been super, super fun. And if you guys want to see some updates on some of these products, then just check out my Instagram. I'm going to be keeping a little bit more updated on my Instagram. It's the one, the Califab underscore beauty. I can leave a link down below. And yeah, just check it out there. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And also, if you guys want to join this Seven Deadly Pans, Project Pan, go ahead and do that. Just, you know, pick seven products. How easy is it? seven products. You don't have to weigh them or anything. That was totally just my thing. But just pick seven products that you really want to use up that you can kind of add in to each of these topics. It's so easy once you start thinking about it. And like I said, I had so much fun picking out the products and like deciding why they would be a good product for that topic. So yeah, if you guys want to add into this project, I would love it to get more people involved in this. And like I said, I'm only doing it until July 7th. So I plan on doing an update once a month on the 7th of every month and that way you guys can see my progress and the updates should be super quick because there's only seven products. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh my God, I have to cross my legs otherwise I'm not comfy.